Good morning, folks. We have a number of items to hit today. We watch good science progress, poor science struggle, and we make the run from interesting to unsettling as we begin at spaceweathernews.com. And we find the last 24 hours on the sun brought the southern coronal hole and accompanying active region through center longitudes. On the left, we see more bright spots incoming, and the sunspots are indeed building back again now. If you recall, there are weeks of up and down even within a sunspot maximum, and we are heading back up as the X-ray production is elevated the last two days due to those sunspot groups. The one squarely facing Earth is highly complex, but luckily has only small umbra and is split magnetically. The complexity is what's driving its small-scale flaring, however, so we will watch for further development today. Otherwise, the filaments finally took a day off from their eruptive behavior, and solar wind is calm at Earth as we await the coronal hole stream. Let's go to the Antikythera, the ancient machine built long before it should have been possible to build such a thing. They go over the evidence and the final reconstruction reconfigurations and conclude, indeed, you may have heard this before, but it's confirmed now it is a lunar tracking device. It was able to match the celestial mechanics observed in the sky. Up next to a real science struggle. As quantum computing hit the gas the last decade, it has ignored speed limits. It's about to pay the price for it now as confidence in the field is eroding after a number of global moving studies. Turned out to be highly questionable to say the least, and shocker, it's under the realm of questioning their newly discovered particle. Here's the global climate map for March. La Nina and the Southern Oceans, and also the Arctic, showing slightly below average with two solid patches above average. It was about a normal month by departure from those average temperature marks. Up next, they might as well just call this one. It's like 18 studies in only a few years, all saying a slightly different version of the same thing. As counterintuitive as it may seem, the melting of polar ice causes major cooling problems from streams to sea surface temperature to precipitation to ocean currents. Here, it's about the snow. Up next, we're looking at volcanoes, and twin science breakthroughs should be able to soon give longer lead time warnings for major volcanic events. Viscosity factor here, which is related to galactic cosmic rays, and another here using high-tech remote sensing to see subtle heat variations around the volcano long before it erupts. Neither paper says which areas to watch closely now, but still, fair progress. Now last but not least, always good to get more on one of the recently outbursting recurrent nova. This one is rapidly recurring on the years to decades scale outburst cycle. Classical nova recur but over thousands to millions of years and from the ancient stories to the isotope deposition in bone and wood and rock and microtectites to the only way to work the entire planetary magnetism all at the same time. Our sun is somewhere in between, approximately a 12,000 year cycle to the disaster distribution and corresponding isotopes. Last one, approximately 12,000 years ago. With all the signs that the nearby stars and other planets are activating now, just before the sun does. We greatly appreciate your support. Everything about the disaster can be found in our 12,000 year disaster cycle playlist. Just look right below our videos and the disaster playlist link should be right there near the top of the info box. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.